on after reviewing all the contingents and greeting all the people today's chief guest and honorable governor of andhra pradesh shri vishwabhushan harichandran ji is returning to the saluting dais vivida contingent lanu parisilinchina anantaram ee naati karyakrama mukhya atithi gauravnile andhra pradesh rashtra governor శ్రీ విశ్వభూషణ్ హరిచందన్ గారు సెల్యూటింగ్ డయాస్ వద్దకు విచ్చేశారు to the people of andhra pradesh and i salute the founding fathers of our nation who have struggled to make india free and the architects of our constitution who had laid down the guiding principle for us to progress with dignity and decorum azadi ka amrut mahotsav we are celebrating 75 years of our independence gradually the foundation for the 75 years of flourishing democracy stems from the ground led by the spirit of freedom fighters and the constitution do we attain independence on august 15 1947 our constitution was adopted on january 26 1950 which is being celebrated by every year as the republic day founding fathers of our nation were very careful in planning the democratic republic that we are the constitution drafting committee headed by bharat ratna dr b r ambedkar was very conscious of the challenges that they had lay ahead for the nation nation the preamble of our constitution begins with we the people of india promising justice social economic and political equality and equal opportunity to all the government has embraced all this with defining toughness and has been providing political social economic and educational justice to all sections the government is earnestly implementing welfare schemes that are reaching all sections of the people ensuring that the caste religion region do not come in the way of safeguarding the fundamental rights inclusive growth is an integral part of sustainable development goals in our state as identified in our constitution the fruits of development should not be pocketed by few but should be distributed evenly among the sections all sections of the society this has been the endeavor of the government which is reflected in our policy making welfare activities and development agenda in fact implementation of sustainable development and inclusive growth is one of the top priorities of the government in order to eradicate poverty through several welfare schemes a network the initiative among the welfare schemes is navaratnalu the government has fulfilled 95% of the promises made in the manifesto as promise in an unprecedented initiative the government has distributed a record sum of rupees 167798 crores to 9 crores 29 lakhs 
170 beneficiaries under the direct benefit transfer and non dbt during the last 32 months agriculture the government accords top priority to the welfare of farmers and the farming sector as agriculture is the backbone of our state's economy our bk system is a revolutionary initiative of the government which is a non stop solution for seed to crop sale for the farming needs under pradesh government achieved first rank in good governance index announced recently in the agriculture and allied sector i am proud to say that government has so far extended assistance of 86,313 crores to farmers under various farmers welfare schemes. OISR Ritubarasa assistance. In a past of this kind is initiative in the country. The government is extending OISR Ritubarasa assistance of 13,500 per year. YSR Ritu Varsha Kendra 10,778 Ritu Varsha Kendra are one-stop centers spread across the state providing a multitude of services to farmers right from the seed to selling the crop produce in the in their village itself. RBK's Act as procurement centers for from produce and ensure minimum support price to the farmers oisr suna wadi panta runal the government distributed dispersed rupees 1208 in crore as interest reimbursement to 65.64 lakh farmers under YSR Sonavedi Panta Ranalu besides paying rupees 1,180 crore areas kept pending in the past. YSR Free Crop Insurance The government has so far deposited rupees 3,788 crore as crop insurance claims benefiting 31.07 lakh farmers unlike in the past realizing the importance of timely assistance the government is paying the previous kharif season claim before the start of this year kharif season input subsidy the government has taken an unprecedented initiative of dispersal of compensation for crop loss by end of the same season itself during which the crop loss occur the government has so far distributed rupees 1071 crore as input subsidy andhra pradesh amul pala beluwa the government has signed an amu with amul to revive and strengthen cooperative dairies in the entire state thereby benefiting women and farmers under ysr matsakara bharsha nearly rupees 332 crores has been credited to the 1,19,875 number of fishermen families by the government is extra people to the deceased fishermen family has been announced to 10 lakhs from 5 lakhs construction of fishing harbor the government has taken up construction of nine fishing harbors as per the international standard to provide safe breathing berthing facilities for deep sea fishing vessels 
and mechanized boats and four fish landing centers with all berthing post harvest facilities with a total of rupees 3177 crores promotion of domestic fish marketing the government is promoting domestic consumption of fish a total of 70 aqua hubs and about 14000 stocks of retail outlets are proposed with a total project cost of rupees 558 crores covering entire state education the government has spent around rupees 34,619.24 crores benefiting 1 crore 99 lakhs 38,694 beneficiaries so far on various education schemes. The government has taken up total transformation of nearly 56,703 government schools, foundation schools, high schools, welfare hospitals and junior colleges in a phased manner with an estimated cost of rupees 16,025 crores under Manabadi Nadu Nedu scheme with 10 components. We have successfully completed the first phase in the in 15,715 schools with a cost of rupees 3,669 crores under Manavadi, Nadu and launched the second phase. With a noble aim of transferring every student into global citizen by imparting quality education, the government has introduced English as a medium of education with the Telugu as a compulsory subject and CVSE syllabus in the government schools from primary level. Admission in government schools increased by 6 lakhs from 37 lakhs in 2018-19 to 43 lakhs this academic year. Due to revolutionary initiatives of government in education sector, the admissions in all schools have increased to 83.76 lakhs in 2000-2021 from 70.43 lakhs in 2018-19. Other states are emulating the government's Nadu Nedu as a role model. Jagananna Amabodi under Jagannath Amabodi, rupees 15,000 per annum is given to poor and needy mothers who send their words to schools. A total of 13,023 crore is distributed to 44 lakhs 48,865 beneficiaries so far under the scheme. Jagannana Vidya Divana prompt deposit of total fee reimbursement amount is in bank accounts of mother of every eligible student is done with dues in respective quarters itself. The total of 6,260 crore is distributed so far to 21,55,298 beneficiaries under Jagannana Vidya Nivyana. Jagannana Basti Divana. The government is crediting rupees 10,000 for IIT students, rupees 15,000 for polytechnic students, and rupees 20,000 for those pursuing degree and other course in two installments per annum. Health and family welfare. The quality of health care system and service in the society is considered 
as one of the crucial factors that define the governance and this is the most important factor for human development in the East. Nadu Nadu, facilities in all healthcare institutions are being upgraded under Nadu Nadu. Government is establishing 16 new addition medical colleges with an attached nursing college with an outlay of Rs. 7,880 crores to ensure best medical care. All existing medical colleges are also being strengthened. A total amount of around Rs. 16,000 crores is being spent on revamping medical infrastructure in the state. In the coming three years, 16 health hubs in 13 district headquarters will be established by our government. Health staff recruitment. The government has already placed 24,982 new personnel in various health facilities and with the 14,391 posts currently being filled with around 40,000 medical personnel. It will be the largest ever recruitment done by any state in the country since independence. Dr. Vyas, Dr. Vyasar Aragusri scheme. The government revamped Dr. Vyasar Aragusri by expansion of network, hospitals, addition of new procedures and announcement of ceiling limit. Aragya Asara, post-operative sustenance allowance to compensate loss of wages during recovery period is provided to the beneficiaries at the rate of Rs. 225 per day. COVID-19 management. During the pandemic, our state has risen to the challenge of tracing, testing, isolation and providing treatment to the infected people as well as the containing and controlling infection. From zero RT-PCR testing lab in March 2020, 150 testing facilities were made functional by June 2020. As on date, 3.20 crore testing conducted. We successfully handled first and second wave with 0.69 percent mortality, which is lowest in the country, and fully geared up to face any such. For the state is geared up to handle 3 lakh active cases at any given time. COVID-19 vaccination. A well-structured multi-level vaccine management plan was worked out and being implemented. As on 21st January, 100% first dose vaccination has been completed to entire population. 86% population got both the doses and 93 vaccination has been completed for 15 to 18 age group children. To protect the aged and all healthcare workers and frontline workers from possible COVID infection while discharging their duties, precautionary dose of vaccination is being administered. Women welfare. The government believes that women are the real architect of the family and the society. We say YSR Suna Reddy. On behalf of 98 lakh 
SSG women, the government has directly deposited rupees 2,354 crores as interest reimbursement into the loan accounts of SSG women under YSR Sunabhadi. This is in contrast to zero amounts paid towards interest during 2017-18-2018-19. YSR Asara The government took an initiative under YSR Asara and promised to disperse the outstanding loan amount which stood as Rs. 25,517 crores as on 11th April 2019 to the same SSG women kept pending by previous government in four consecutive annual installments. The government has already deposited nearly Rs. 12,758 crores in two installments so far into the bank accounts of the YSR Chautha. YSR Chautha provides financial assistance to women belong to SC, ST, BC and minorities who are in the age group of 45 to 60 years. Some beneficiaries will be receiving rupees 75,000 in four years at the rate of rupees 18,750 per year. The government has already dispersed a total amount of nearly rupees 9,308 crore to benefit 25,8624 lakh women. Under both YSR Asara and YSR Chautha schemes, to empower women and make them self-reliant. Women are encouraged to set up enterprises for, for which we are extending support in the form of facilitating loans from banks, providing marketing facility and training by tying, tying up with reputed multinational companies and banks. YSR Kapuna Storm, the government is giving Rs. 15,000 per annum as financial assistance to all Kapu, Baliza, Ontari community women aged between 45 and 60 years. YSR EBC Storm, the government has launched a new scheme, YSR EBC Storm yesterday and has dispersed a total of nearly rupees 589 crores benefiting nearly 3,92,674 black EBC women aged between 45 and 60 years at the rate of rupees 15,000 per annum. This assistance will be given to the same women for three consecutive years. YSR Pension Kanuka. The government hiked pension to rupees 2,500 per month to old age pensioners, widows, single women, and other social security pensioners under YSR pension Kanuka for first of this January. The government has borne an expenditure of Rs. 45,837 crores till date on pensions. An amount of 1,570 crores is being spent per month to disperse wage pension Kanuka to 62 lakh pension beneficiaries from promptly on the first day of every month. Industries and infrastructure. The government is committed 
to repeat industrialization of the to rapid industrialization of the state through best in class policies business reforms and infrastructure development for balanced and inclusive growth the government has released an amount of rupees 2029 crores of the industrial incentives to msmes food processing units textile spinning mills our state is ranked number 1 in east of in easy of doing business on the state reform action plan 2019-20 of government of india our government has improved its export performance from 7th rank in 2019-20 to 4th rank in 2020-21 ysr jagannatha mega industrial hub is being developed over an extent of 3155 acres near the copper earth in ysr district ysr electronics manufacturing cluster is being developed adjoining the mega industrial hub navaratnalu pandala and riki ilu house the government distributed a hoping number of 30.76 lakhs free house site potas recently to below poverty line women beneficiaries the government is constructing around 28 lakh houses in which 15 lakhs 60227 houses are being constructed in the first phase jagannatha sampurna gruha haku under jagannatha sampurna gruha haku the government is giving full rights instead of just dwelling rights befitting nearly benefiting nearly 52 lakh people by waiving principal and interest amounting to nearly rupees 10000 crores and rupees 6000 crores as exemption of registration charges and stamp duty village ward secretary the government has established the village ward secretary system a true reflection of gram swarajya to bring the governance to the people at the doorstep the village secretary system is executing massive programs such as the delivery of public services and welfare schemes in a time bound manner at the doorstep of all the eligible citizens irrespective of caste creed religion and party affiliation in a transparent manner without any scope of corruption these secretaries deliver 541 services in a time bound manner municipal administration department aiming at clean and swachh bharat the government has taken up the massive project jagannatha swachh sankalpan clean and pradesh i can proudly say that andhra pradesh is the only state in the country providing end to end solutions to sanitation in the entire state jagannatha spant township this scheme envisages allotting residential plots at affordable prices to middle income group families whose annual income is up to 18 lakh in the state irrigation the government prioritized the major ongoing projects taken up under jalo gram to provide 
early irrigation facilities and assured water for drinking and industry in all the districts of the state under the flagship program of Nabharatnalu to make the state drought proof. The national project Pulabharam is going on as the schedule to be completed by 2023. Land acquisition and constructing RR colonies is also going on simultaneously in BRICS progress. New projects. The government is contemplating 54 new projects in all regions of the state with an estimated cost of rupees 74,920 crore to meet the drinking, irrigation and industrial requirements to mitigate the drought in various parts of the state and ensure water stability to the state. Employees welfare. Employees are an integral part of our government and are very vital to provide various welfare benefits and services to the public, especially those belonging to the poor, vulnerable and downtrodden. Various employees welfare measures have been undertaken by the government as soon as it came to power in 2019. In spite of financial difficulties, the government had sanctioned an unprecedented 27% IR which has costed an additional burden of rupees 17,265 crore on government. In spite of COVID induced economic distress, we are implementing the 11th Pay Revision Commission, which is going to put an additional financial burden of 10,247 crores on the government's exchequer. PRC benefits to employees. As part of 11th PRC implementation, the government has given treatment benefit of 23% to employees. In addition to this, ours is the only government in the entire country to increase the retirement age of government employees to 62 years to benefit the employees. Gratuity has also been increased from rupees 12 lakhs to 16 lakhs. Government has to balance the welfare of the poor and different sections of the people, including the employees. Despite the revenue deficit due to bifurcation of the state and a decrease in state-owned resources due to COVID pandemic, the government with dedicated a commitment to the welfare of the employees has given best PRC possible in the present circumstances. Let nothing come between the government and its employees. New districts. In line with the election manifesto promise made by the government for the delivery of more efficient service to people and for good governance, we will be creating 13 more districts in the state of Andhra Pradesh on the auspicious day of Ugadi. Two districts will be exclusively for the tribal population. With this, the total tally of the district in the state will go up to 26. Friends, Republic Day is an occasion for every government to introspect itself and see how well it is honoring its commitments to the constitution and the government. In this respect, the government is never found wanting, which is evident by the aforesaid facts. I conclude by assuring you that it will 
continue by the same spirit in the day to come under the dynamic leadership of our young Chief Minister, Y.S. Jagan Reddy. Let us place together to strive hard, hand in hand, for making our state number one in the country in overall development, as also for the well-being and happiness of our people. Joy. Thank you, sir, for your valuable message. Adbhuta vayna sandhi sandhwara. అందరిలోను నూతన ఉత్సాహాన్ని నింపిన గౌరవనీయ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ రాష్ట్ర గవర్నర్ శ్రీ విశ్వభూషణ్ హరిచందన్ గారికి మనఃపూర్వక ధన్యవాదాలు తెలియజేస్తున్నాం థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ Honorable Governor of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Vishwabhushan Harishanandji is requested to give prizes to the best 